guys, I'm gonna be at TCAF this weekend. I'm on the third floor, table 303, um, which is nearer to the elevators than the stairwell, FYI. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. Please come say hi to me and Bones if you're in the area. We're gonna be selling our Pretty Mouth books, uh, the Magpie Volume 1, and the Scourge of Nine Point. I'm, I'm excited. Can you tell? <laughs> We'll also be at Anime North later this month, so check us out there too. <laughs> not this weekend. It's not happening this weekend. So today I wanted to talk about thumbnailing and composition because I can't talk about it enough. It's one of those things that's super important to comics um, that I think gets kind of glanced over because like, I don't know, composition is so important to all art, not just comics. But with comics, it's like you can't get to the right panel if the composition sucks. <laughs> so before I start drawing any comic pages, I grab my script that Bones has written and then I start to work on my thumbnails. Um, they're super important uh, to my process because they let me have a few passes at things in order to make them look good. <laughs> you know, I'm not going into a page like super fresh. It's, it's like you get kind of your first pass with thumbnails where you don't have to commit to anything. Honestly, half the stuff that I do when I thumbnail gets redone in the penciling stage, but it's important to get something down on paper and just get started because you can't fix something if it's not real. Like if it's just in your head, it might not look like you're hoping it will look. Um, and that could be because, like, your skill level isn't there or there's some, like, 3D space you're not considering when it's just, like, a concept in your mind. Um, so having a place to just start and put lines down and start figuring things out, that's where thumbnails are amazing and great. Like, I can't expect myself to draw something perfect, uh, especially, like, as wonderful as I see it in my head. Things are always ten times cooler. Uh, before I actually put them down on paper. <laughs> so planning things out and like trying different compositions, like I get closer and closer to what I want as I go along. The thumbnails on the screen right now are very like, just getting it down, the, the general sense of things. They will definitely change. There's a lot of like, not so good compositions in here, but it's good to just have that first crack at things. I also find it super important when I'm doing thumbnails to have my script open beside me. Um, for one, like, I don't know what I'm drawing unless I'm looking at my script. But it also helps you figure out, like, what's the emotional stuff going on? Like, what do you need to portray in this composition? Um, which just helps you make better decisions when you're penciling it out. So yeah, get your script written early if, you know, you're the one writing it or get it from your writer. And sit down and do your do your your thumbnails. Um, it's also great to see like my pages all together in like how I would see them in a book. So you see like I will put them side by side so that I understand like how the pages fit together. Things I'm generally looking for are like I don't want to have um, the same composition twice on like a page spread. So for example like I don't want two panels that are like the same size that have like I don't know, a character's face in the same position. Like, that's happened in previous books I've made where, like, the same panel happens, like, consecutively and it's not good. <laughs> and having things laid out in, like, this big, like, overall view really helps me figure out the flow. Um, if you haven't heard of flow before, it's just um, visual cues that point your reader to the next panel so that they can read through the page clearly. Also, when I'm working on thumbnails, like, I work really quick and dirty. Like, um, for these thumbnails, like, the very first pass-through, it's very, like, where's the character positioned in the page? Where's the speech bubble positioned in the page? Are there any big, like, background elements that I need to consider? Um, and then quickly roughing them in. Like, um, it's not quite like a storyboard. I, I always imagine storyboards are a lot more detailed. This one's just a little bit more like, um, like it just gives me a vague sense of where to put everything. Cause I tend to flesh things out more when I get into the pencil stages. Whereas if I was working with a writer other than Bones, or if I had like an editor to work with, um, I'd probably do two passes at my thumbnail stage. Um, so first, you know, I'd start with this super, super rough one that you can see here. And then I would do a more fleshed out version um, that would be a lot more clear to like an observer to understand what the heck is going on because it's not 
only a reference for me. Yeah, just make sure that things are like comprehensible so I can show them to someone and be like, does this make sense? But when I'm usually just working by myself or with Bones, who has like learned to understand my, my chicken scratch, I tend to just use pencils for that. Though honestly, maybe I should do more like stages before I get to penciling. Because, you know, you want, like, that really nice layout and that really good composition. Because, honestly, I've gotten to, like, inked pages and gone, like, oh, that wasn't a good composition. How did that get past me? Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's really good to have steps in between where you can catch mistakes. Because every time you get, like, a breath of fresh air away from your pages, you're going to be able to see those mistakes and, like, correct things early. So you're not redoing entire inked pages before you print. Another important thing for like thumbnailing, whether you're thumbnailing like an illustration or a comic or whatever, um, make sure that you have your page dimensions down um, when you're planning things out. Because um, here I've drawn like the page containers, the similar shape of like the, how the actual comic page will look. Um, that way you can account you can account for the container, I guess, and pick the best composition for that container. The same sense goes for um, panel sizing. So it's like, if, you know, a skinny tall panel is going to have a different composition than a square panel. Um, so always make sure to get it like as close as you can to what the final product will be so that you can have that really sweet layout that you want. Another video on thumbnails. I think they're great. I really like them. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> um, I really encourage people to do thumbnails because it'll save you a lot of grief down the line. I've talked to artists who swear by just jumping right into pencils and that's where they do all their like figuring things out. Um, if you can do that, like that's amazing. I cannot. Um, my brain does not work that way. <laughs> uh, so I really need lots of time to like catch my mistakes. Um, I think it's because I'm a very fast artist. So I will run through things like as fast as I can and then correct later. Um, if you're someone who's a little bit like, um, you pace yourself more, you take more like time thinking about things and being meticulous with your compositions and your lines, etc. Like um, jumping into pencils might be better for you, um, where they're not so good for me. So for me, it's just super important to like take some time away, look at my work, fix all the mess I make because I'm going so quickly. Um, that's one thing I struggle with a ton is just I zoom through stuff so fast and it's so messy and so like loose. Like, don't get me wrong, it gives my lines, like, a very, like, fluid feel to them. Um, but I really need to learn how to, like, pull back and make things tighter and cleaner. Because, um, like, that's where I want to be with my art. Um, I remember my art teacher used to look at my work, like, my line work and my sketches and be like, Oh, that's very Ursula. And I was like, oh, what, what did that mean? <laughs> but now I know what it means. It was very loose and messy. So I really want to improve on that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me your process for thumbnails. I'd be super interested in learning about it. Maybe there's like a step I'm missing or a cool new technique that I haven't heard of. So yeah, let me know what you do. And make sure to come see me at the Toronto Comic Arts Festival this weekend because I'm super excited and I want to meet people. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you'd like to request a video topic, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or some cool videos about writing comics uh, from Bones. They will also be on this channel. So yeah, come back again sometime. <laughs> okay, thanks again. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!